How to talk like an Alaskan, or at least understand what we're talking about, part two. All right, I have the extra tufts packed for the kids. No, no, I think you at least need the bogs. The bogs? Okay, I'll pack the bogs. And what are you bringing? I got my bunny boots. In Alaska, footwear is important, and we have many different shoes that we rely on throughout the year. Extra tufts are also known as the Alaskan tennis shoe. They are great for fishing, they are great for walking the beach, they are great for rainy days. They are just the all-around Alaskan footwear. My favorite extra tufts are these little ankle booties. I wear these all the time. They're the best. And when winter time rolls around, we transition into our bog boots. These are good down to negative 30 degrees and they keep your toes nice and toasty. And bunny boots are giant surplus army boots that are great for keeping your toes warm in negative degree temperatures. Oh yeah, they just took the milk run. They'll be back in a few days. The Milk Run is a daily circuit of Alaska Airlines flights that goes from city to city along southeast Alaska. These are communities that are not connected by roads, so many people rely on these flights to get freight and groceries and to travel from city to city. The only other way to connect them is often by ferry boat, which is much slower. The Milk Run flights are critical for moving people, freight, and supplies along the Alaska coast. Hey, are your parents home? Oh no, they're snowbirds. They went outside. When are they gonna come back? Oh, not for another two, three months. They're staying outside for two or three months? Yeah. When someone talks about a snowbird, they are talking about someone who spends their winter outside of Alaska, usually somewhere warm, and then spends their summers in Alaska. They're not ready to give up Alaska, so they split their time between two different locations. Hey. Yeah. Done anything interesting lately? Oh, I'm kind of exhausted. I did a suicide run last night down to the Russian. Hmm, cool. Yeah, the Reds were just hammering. We were flogging the water all night long. I'm tired. That sounds intense. Yeah, it was. When somebody says that they did a suicide run down to the Russian River, that means they took the two hour drive south of Anchorage and ran to the Russian River to catch salmon. When the salmon are running, you gotta get to the river fast to be able to get your limit. Often people will drive down, fish through the night because it's light out, and then come home the next morning calling it a suicide run or a suicide mission to the Russian. And when someone says that they were flogging the water, that means they were hitting the water all night. Then mom slid her car into the berm. A berm is what is created when a snow plow pushes the snow off the road and creates big mounds on the sides of the road. If you don't say snow berm, often people don't know what we're talking about. Hey, what should we do with five PFDs this year? We should take a boat ride. Or buy a boat. If you hear someone in Alaska talking about paying for something with their PFD, they are not talking about their personal flotation device. They are talking about a permanent fund dividend. The Alaska Permanent Fund was established in 1976 and is funded by oil revenue. The PFD or permanent fund dividend is paid out annually to Alaskan residents. There are several criteria that need to be met before getting a PFD, such as being in the state for a full calendar year, January 1st through December 31st. We've often heard people say that we get paid to live in Alaska. Well, that extra $600 to $2,000 a year is very nice. It is barely a drop in the bucket to cover the cost of living in Alaska. So while it is a fun addition, it is not the reason why people move to Alaska. There are several requirements to get a PFD, such as being in the state for a full year, and you must check a box saying that you plan to continue to be a resident in Alaska. You can also lose your PFD for several things, including leaving the state for too many days in a year. Hey, Hunt. Yeah? Did you see that Denali was out today? No, I didn't see that. She's so pretty. The highest mountain peak in North America is Denali. You might know it as Mount McKinley, but the traditional name is Denali, and that is what most Alaskans call this amazing mountain. The crazy thing about Denali is that it is so big, it has its own weather system. So it disappears and reappears like magic. So if you are one of the lucky ones to see Denali out in its glory, you celebrate it. We often get a glimpse of Denali right here from Eagle River from the grocery store parking lot. But one day it'll be there and the next it's gone. The same thing happens when you drive into the park. You know that the mountain is there, but you can't even see it because of the weather and clouds that it creates. 
We hope you enjoyed part two of How to Talk Like an Alaskan, part three coming soon. Split her car into a bun. Okay, I need you to try again. It's firm. Boom. Oh. Say firm. Oh, it's up snow. Oh, Shanik. <laughs> hey, we're getting five PFDs this year. You think we should buy a boat? I don't want to say that you changed it. I did. <laughs> I'm just gonna say something and then I just want you to look at the camera like.